I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm Alicia. And I'm Ben. And this is your Thursday, February 12th, 2015 edition of Warrior TV News. Tonight's opening night, Warriors, the Wade Writing, Acting, Directing, Entertaining program presents three all-new, all-original plays debuting tonight, tomorrow, in the WCHS Auditorium, starting at 6.50 p.m. Tickets are just $5, and 10% of all ticket sales will go to Riley Dance Marathon. Wade would also like to announce that it has an Instagram account to keep Warriors up-to-date on all upcoming events. Follow the at Whiteland Wade account, and when you come to the show tonight or tomorrow, all Warriors are encouraged to hashtag their photos using Wade's hashtag WCHSWade2015. Seniors, this is your first friendly reminder to get your zoo forms and money turned in as soon as possible. If you have any questions, see Miss R. Smith, Mrs. Fuentes, or Miss Gunn today. This is a final reminder that anyone interested in applying to be a member of National Honor Society, packets and teacher recommendation forms are due by tomorrow, Friday, February 13th. Once again, all NHS packets and teacher recommendation forms are due by tomorrow, Friday, February 13th. This is a final reminder to all seniors, please verify your name is spelled and format, formatted as you wanted it to be on your diploma. See Mrs. Bridinger outside the library during GI or stop by Mrs. Short's office in the administration hallway during the day to check your name. The Lady Warriors lost to Center Grove on Tuesday night in the sectional play. The Lady Warriors experienced great improvements this season and would like to thank the students and staff for all the support. Congratulations to Jordan Wood for advancing to the state diving finals Tuesday night by placing fourth at the Bloomington North Regionals with a personal best score of 417. Congratulations, Jordan, and good luck at state finals. Volleyball conditioning is starting every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 3.15 p.m. until 4.30 p.m. Meet in the hallway outside the weight room. Open gyms are every Thursday night from 6 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. in the volleyball gymnasium at the 9th grade center. Any players who have not turned in their evaluation paper, please do so ASAP. You can turn in those in to either Coach Helen Goss or Coach Morrison. Don't forget track and field athletes. Track season officially begins on Monday, February 16th. If you plan on participating in track and field this year, you need to make sure you have your physical and concussion form on file before the first day of practice. If you have any questions, please see Coach Bangle. The next FFA meeting will be Wednesday, February 18th at 6 p.m. at the Ag Room. FFA will be covering Lots of important topics, including FFA Week, the annual awards banquet information, and chapter campout information. Ms. Scobe and the Whiteland FFA hope to see you there. Looking for a way to help Special Olympics? Join them on March 7th for the Polar Plunge at Eagle Creek. Transportation from the school to Eagle Creek will be provided that morning. You can sign up by going to Special Olympics Indiana, clicking on Polar Plunge, and searching for the athletic Whiteland Athletics team, you can either join Special Olympics for the nice cool dip in the water or simply donate to this year's Polar Plunge. Anyone interested in a career in IT, computing software design, computer programming, or engineering, or if you just want to learn more about computer programming and computer science, please be aware WCHS has two different classes that cover these topics. The classes offered are AP Computer Science and Computer Programming, which is a dual credit class. If you're interested in taking these classes, please see your guidance counselor. 
Attention National Art Honor Society members. If you are attending the Chicago trip in April and have not picked up a t-shirt form, then please stop by Miss Pope's room to pick one up. The t-shirts are $10 and the money and order forms are due by Friday, February 20th. Riley Dance Marathon is doing their annual Chick-fil-A milkshake fundraiser. Milkshakes are $3.50. You can place your order in your fifth period class. Money and orders are due by next Wednesday, February 18th and milkshakes will be delivered Friday, February 20th. Order a milkshake today, and don't forget, Warriors, it's for the kids. Do you believe in magic? WCHS Theater does. This spring, the WCHS Theater and Choir Departments are proud to present Disney and Cameron McIntosh, Mary Poppins. This wonderful filled musical is in need of many talented actors, singers, and dancers to make this production a hit. Auditions are being held after school Monday, February 23rd, Tuesday, February 24th, and Wednesday, February 25th. There are a few things you need prior to an audition. First, you'll need to stop by the Sea Hall and pick up the audition song and audition application form. Second, if you want to audition for a lead role, you will need a two-minute theatrical monologue. Third, you will need to sign up for an audition time. Fourth, you will need to be prepared to demonstrate dancing, to wear appropriate clothes. Final, rehearsal time for the song will be available in GI in the choir room. More information and all materials are found outside of C-103. Have questions or concerns? Please see Ms. R. Smith in C-103 or Mrs. Coulter in the choir room for more details and information. And that's all we have for you on this edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one. Pennies for Patients is still going strong, Warriors. Don't forget to donate to your fifth period class to win a possible pizza party and support a noble cause. Go Warriors!